Hi everyone. Hi everyone. My name is Christy. And I'm Greg. Also known as Charlie Brown. And we're with Positive Creation Reads and More. And we'd like to say welcome. And tonight we're going to do a Valentine decoration. Hi everyone. And it will be uh, multi multi-purpose. So with that being said, we're going to move the camera down and we're going to say thank you for joining us. Hi Sherry. Hi Sherry. Welcome. We are going to be doing something with these hearts. That's what we're going to be doing. All right. I hit the base for now. We're not doing a wreath tonight. Instead, I have this big old candle, candle base. It is 12 inches tall. It is a five inch base on the top here. And I used a I made a uh, bean sack and I put it in here just for a little bit of weight and then I covered the bottom up so it doesn't scratch anybody's table. And I did go ahead and get started on this because it was a big, big, big project and I didn't want you guys to have to stay on here all night long and I don't want to run over on anybody's time. So I did use this Spanish moss and I covered this styrofoam and I used burgundy and the natural poly burlap mesh. And I did burn them 10 inches, 10 inches. And I went ahead and put the bottom layer on, but now we're gonna do a top layer on top of this. And then we're gonna do all the fun stuff. And this is going to be multi-functionable. And you're gonna understand what I mean when I, when I get to the end of this. Hi, Neva. Hi, Tracy, Dawn, Sue. Hello, welcome everyone. And like I said, we're gonna be using these hearts as well. I have some other things. And this isn't going to be just Valentine's. I promise you it's going to be multifunctional. So like I said, I burned this mesh 10 inches. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the top right corner and the bottom left corner. We are going to fold them together. Hi, Lillian. Hi, Lillian. And they're going to meet in the middle. And then we're going to do the ruffle method. Like, like that until they look like little a little bow tie or a little petal or flower petal or whatever then we're going to make make that bend to where they look like rabbit ears more or less i have these floral pens i'm going to put that in the middle hi nancy ria denise welcome everyone Now I'm using my hot glue. As y'all can see, I got the big hot glue. I went to Wally World and got me an electric skillet. Hi, Judy. She's new from Tampa, Florida. Well, welcome, Judy. We're glad to have you. Thank you, Sue. Hi, Carol. And I did use the, the Gorilla Glue, and we're just gonna pop it in there, just like that. Hi, Linda. And we're gonna alternate the colors and like I said, I'm using these two colors, and I'll show you why at the very end. Like I said, the top right corner, I know this is kind of big. Let me sit back here and cover up Charlie Brown. The top right corner, the left bottom corner, we bring those together in the middle. And then we're going to do the ruffle method. Hi, Eunice. Bring those together like that. We're going to fold that over. To where they look like a flower petal. I'm using a floral pen and the floral pens came from um, Hobby Lobby. You get a bag of them of a hundred of them for three something I think three dollars and fifty cents. The mesh came from um, Craft Outlet. The uh, candle base came from a craft store down here in Southern Indiana and So did the foam piece. Hi, Darla, CC, Steve. Hi, CC. And CC up next, the beautiful and talented CC. So make sure you guys check her out. She is awesome. What are you using for a base? Um, this is a six inch piece of styrofoam. It's two inches deep. And this is a candle base. 
It's a candle. But it's going to be multifunctional, I promise. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Joanne. I am or Joan, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I know. What? You gonna said it's beautiful. Thank you. And Joan said hello, that's cool. Thank you. I'm really excited about this. That's why I went ahead and I did the bottom layer. Um, it's going to be multifunctional as soon as I get done with it. And I'll show you what I mean when I'm done. I'm just excited about this. I actually woke up the other morning at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I had a dream about this. I think I'm the only weirdo that wakes up at 4 o'clock in the morning with dreams of crafting. And I woke him up and I was like, hey, I have this dream. And he's like, I don't want to hear it. Just go to sleep. You can tell me in the morning. I don't want to hear it. I'm like, but you got to listen. He's like, tell me in the morning. I don't want to hear it. I hope I don't get your name wrong. Is it Renee? If it's wrong, can yell at him. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. I'm used to it. I like it, though. Give me a hard time. Yes, give him a hard time. He loves it. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Debbie. I want to say welcome to everybody. Glad you're here. Welcome. Yes. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. She said yes, so I did it right. Woohoo! Renee. <laughs> And I am using Gorilla Glue on the ends of this, and lots of it, making sure these bad boys don't come out. And I am overlapping the mesh, as you can see. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to see. Everybody says, hi, Christy. Hi, everyone. See, he never tells me. He never reads the comments. See? And Mary said, look good, Christy. Thank you. And Kathy said, sprinkling. Thank you for the sprinkles, everyone. Neva said, hey, I'm new to you. Been following the marathon, loving all the creations. Awesome. Thank you. There is a lot of talented uh crafters yes because when christy watches the other crafters and that and the finished product she'll show me the picture of it and wow it's a just lot, amazing a lot of amazing and talented crafters. thank you mary nuna said hi well hello welcome Well, that dropped that one. I've been watching everybody all day today, and I had a couple of appointments today. And you know how normally they set you in that room for an hour, and they never come in there right on time? Not today. They come in there because I was trying to watch, and they come in there, and I'm like, can you go back out and give me an hour like you owe you any other time? Darla asked, is the foam base mounted? to candle holder. Yes, it is mounted. It's not going anywhere. I used um, E6000 and Gorilla Glue. Glue, both. So it's not going anywhere. And like I said, in case if y'all just came in and you wasn't here in the beginning, I take the right top corner and the left bottom corner and I put them together meet them in the middle and then i just do the roughly method method bring them together thank you Teresa. she said bless thank you and then i just use one of the um floral picks from hobby lobby and i put it there in the middle
a little bit of Gorilla Glue down here on the end of the pick. And then into the foam goes. And I just push it in there. And then I do overlap the two colors. snag. I'm going to cut that because you don't want to pull any snags. Hope everyone's having a good evening. Yeah. And enjoying the marathon. I know I've enjoyed it. Thank you, Mary. She said, love this. Thank you. I have some of these already made up, but. When I started doing this, he goes, it looks like a little lamp. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the base of it, and then how the mesh over lays, it looked like a lampshade. Well, it won't once I get done with it. I don't know. I was going to do just a wreath, but I thought, no, let's just go ahead and do this. I've been dreaming about this, so let's just do it and get it over with. Top right and the bottom left. Ruffle it up and fold it. And it is burned 10, 10 inches. And it is a candle holder, a candle holder base. Blue strings. I think so, Steve. <laughs> what? Steve said, am I the only guy here besides Charlie Brown? <laughs> eh, you love it, Steve. <laughs> Hi, Lillian. Hi, Lillian. Lillian said, how many did you need to cut? I cut two whole rolls. I cut the whole roll of the burgundy, and I cut the whole roll of the natural cream. Mary. I made some oatmeal for dinner, then came in here to watch you, and now I can't find my oatmeal. I think Sarah has been here. <laughs> <laughs> Have to go pat Sarah down. Thank you, Brenda. She said sprinkled. Thank you for the sprinkles. And then Mary said, Charlie Brown is hiding. I'm sorry. Well, she kind of got covered up with that, so I kind of had there. to move to the side. I'll let you get in there. You know, I like to be in the light, you know. <laughs> Don't encourage him. He's in a corner where he belongs. Wow, I didn't do nothing wrong today. Came home, got you, and took you to town. You did. Say at appointments. See, I'd already did some already. So for sure how long I was going to be in town. Did anybody get any crazy weather today? Driving to town, we got in the, probably yeah. about five minutes to eight minutes. Come down, rain, sleet, snow, everything all mixed in together. After yeah. about five, eight minutes, it was done. Yeah. Sun come back out. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I was like, really? This is crazy. Lillian said, are you calling me Luann? Lillian! No, we would never. He would, Lillian. I wouldn't. 
I'm the nice one. <laughs> Pause. I gotta get my boots and the shovel, y'all. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. I don't know why you need boots. You're standing on the step stool. Not tonight, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to need it, though, as big as this is getting. <laughs> We're almost done with the top layer. <sighs> when the mesh is cut to 10 inches? Yes. I actually used the um, burner on it, and I burned it 10 inches. Yeah. <laughs> Lily and I sent you a message earlier. I don't know if you got it or not. I think this may be the last piece here. Okay, let's put that red in between there. Yeah, we'll put that under like that. Nita said there were, were these people I used to stay with. They had a son and called him Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. <laughs> Brenda said hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. All righty. Now we got the whole top layer on. And see, I still have plenty of mesh left over, so we can use this on another project. Teresa said hello, everyone. I signed up late to do the marathon. I will be on after CC. Oh, awesome. Okay. I'm not going to put any more of the um, folded mesh on the top here. Instead, we're going to use these like a scarf. We're going to lay that one down. And then we're going to lay this one down. What you laughing about, Charlie Brown? Lillian said, as long as you don't call me a Karen. <laughs> Absolutely not. Susan said, hey, girl and all. Hey, hey. Okay. I know that didn't seem like it took long, but you'll see. You know, I'm going to put these down in there to hold this down. Lillian said she'll have to check. But don't check now. Check later. I'm joking, Lillian. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Then at any time, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. And at any time you feel like giving Charlie Brown a hard time, please feel free. Go for it. I can take it. He's got broad shoulders. I like to aggravate him. He does. When the glue is stringy like that, that's how you want your glue because it'll set up quicker. And I'm just going to put four pins in here on the top. Well, I think I missed the whole dag blessed thing. You need your glasses? I don't even know where they're at. I'm sure I can find them. Might be on the computer stand. Well, I'm going to go get them. Yeah. We'll make do. Ah, I hit it that time. Okay, there. Now I just put four of those pins in there. Okay. See, so this is what the top looks like. The reason why I did that and I didn't fold any of the mesh is because this is going to act like the scarf for this candle holder. And we're going to have this pretty mesh down here. Okay. How are we doing on time here? Uh, you're only not even 10 minutes in. Woohoo! I think you may answer Michelle's question. She asked, what is it stand? Oh, it's a candle holder. And I did make my own beanie bag, small, and I put it on here, and then I put a piece of felt on the bottom so it doesn't scratch anybody's tool. All right, I did cut some eucalyptus, and we're going to put some of that around. And I'll show you why. I promise we're getting to it. I promise... 
I'm getting all antsy here. Can't wait. Pop, pop down over there. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm going to pop it in underneath here. In between some of this mesh. Just for some color. And I see some little snags here we're going to cut. Michelle said thanks. You're welcome. And then Steve said my pizza dough is expired so I am making a pizza. You going to trust it? <laughs> Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. I think that's great that all the crafters get together like this during this marathon and show support for one another. Absolutely. That is awesome. Now, I do have different colors of eucalyptus and different shades and stuff. So, we're just going to pop some in here and there and all around. Carol from Texas said looking good well hi carol from texas is it carol with a k or carol with, carol a, c? with a k okay you have to clarify well i forgot about that part i'm sorry okay. yeah okay peggy said that she had leftover country rib Stew over toast. So good. Well, we went and ordered dinner tonight. Charlie Brown. Did. And I went in for my last appointment and I said, why don't you just order dinner? Because I'm not going to try and, I'm not about to try and home and, and fix dinner and then try to get ready for the live and stuff like that. So I said, why don't you order dinner? I said, I want a chimichanga. He said, okay. We went and picked up dinner. We came home. And, of course, we live in the country. And it took 30 minutes to get home. We got home, opened up. It was two enchiladas. Two of the same exact dinners of enchiladas. So, guess who got two dinners tonight? Hey, you sitting right there when I ordered it. Should have been paying attention. Laura from Kansas is watching. Well, hello, Laura from Kansas. Welcome. Brenda Sprinkle. Thank you. Thank you for the sprinkles. And Mary asked where dinner was from. Where was that plate? What was it called? Hi, Laura. Uh, I don't know. It was a Mexican restaurant. I don't remember. Mary said she loves enchiladas. It would have been okay if it didn't have the red the red chili sauce on there because I can't have the red chili sauce. It makes me sick. There's something in that sauce I just get really, really sick every time. And I said, as long as it doesn't have the red chili sauce. We sure did, Johnny. Rice and beans always got to have that. Yeah, he got <laughs> rice and beans too. He ate that as well. So I ate a couple handfuls of Cheerios and coat then. Peggy said, we are off to it. I love enchiladas and hubby loves chimichangas. <laughs> then Lillian said, we ate leftover pork steak and salad. Susan said, this looks awesome. Thank you. And Eva, I love Mexican, period. There you go. I usually make it homemade, but I didn't want to come home and cook. After being in town for appointments. See how that eucalyptus just gives it another little pop of color in there? Just here and there. Just little sprays everywhere. I think that's enough for now on that. M Melody said hi, Christy. Hi. From Fort Wayne. Welcome. Glad to have you. All right. We do have some roses. And I think these are gorgeous. And I thought about popping them in here too, but I'm not going to and I'll show you why. Alrighty, now we're getting to the good stuff. Well, it's all good, but still. Melody said very green. Carol said green chili chicken. Uh, I can't pronounce that last word. Right I can't see. I can get my glasses on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to watch it later. Carol with the K said that. Yeah. Alright. I wanted this to go in at an angle like that. 
And I know I don't have any glue on here, so it's kind of going to be wobbly just because I'm not gluing it down yet. And, ooh, I got lots of mesh left. It's definitely not going to take two rolls to do this, okay? I'll just say that. And I do have a stick for this. What'd I do with it? Hmm, must have slid out. Well, I thought I had this on a stick, but anyhow, I did make a bow for this. I'll just get a stick, slide it in there. You know, we're alive, so nothing's never going to go right. So there you have it. Judy said that is looking so darn cute. Thank you. Joanne, I got that one right this time. First time. Hi, Joanne. Well, hi, Joanne. Welcome. All right. I just grabbed another stick, tied it around there. There. Just cut that off. I'm sure my bow got smashed. And I made this big, bodacious bow. Peggy said, love the hearts. Thank you. The hearts came from, um, I got them on Etsy. Marianne Boutique. They came from Marianne Boutique. And she has several different ones. And I got both of those. They weren't together. I mean, I put them together for this. Just because I had a vision. Mary said, nice bow, Christy. Thank you. Bauer said, sorry, I'm late. You're fine. You're fine. You ain't late. I think I... Lillian said, the hearts are pretty. Thank you. Anyhow, I was meshing my bow because, you know, nothing's never going to go right when you're live. And I didn't do it. And it's all Greg's fault just wow. because. Melody said, sprinkled. Thank you, Melody. Joanne, and thank you. I have this gingerbread roll that I am going to add to this. Just because she has the red plaid on and I just thought she was super cute. And like I said, I'm not attaching any of this. I need a longer stick for my bow. Let me start this over. Whoops. Hold that. I got it. Thank you. Melody said the black makes everything pop. Yes. Sherry sure said, how cute. Thank you. So I tried to put this this uh, skewer in there the first time. And I put it in upside down, of course, so then it wouldn't stay. Because, you know, we're live, right? Let me try this again. There. Now that one just broke off. Carol with a C said super cute. Carol with a C. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Love it. <laughs> Mary said love it. Lillian said I love it. Totally cute. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we got to stick on there. Get in there. Did you let go of my hearts? Yes, I did. Oh. When you put your hand back there, I thought you had it. No. Denise said, did you make the ginger girl? No. I I got her out of the uh, same place I got the hearts. I thought she just looked so cute, and the plaid matched the hearts, so that's why I'm all together. And, well, to finish this off, Valerie said sprinkle. Thank you, Valerie. Look at that that rose right there. Does that not look gorgeous all together? And then, of course, I'd have to fluff up the bed that I smashed trying to get it in there. Now, I said this was going to be multi-purpose, right? One candle holder, right? We got the mesh on there. We got Valentine's, right? Folks, I got an hour and I'm going to give you an hour. Okay, here's our Valentine's. Voila. What do y'all think? Okay, this is why I did not glue any of this on the top. Multi purpose. Okay. Let's take the heart out. Let's take the bow out. 
let's move a little ginger for a moment. How am I doing on time? Uh, you are at 29.25. Awesome, we got time. Lily and Denise Sprinkle. Thank you for the sprinkles. Neva Beautiful. Linda, so cute. We got a little carrot. We got our little bunny. We got our little lamb. Judy, OMG, love it. <clears throat> Y'all. Susan, this is absolutely adorable. Thank you. Now, I did make a, an Easter bow. Of course, it rolled away onto the floor. Okay. I put all the bows on a little pick. Let me turn this around so we can see. A little pick, a stick. Tracy said, so cute. Thank you. Susan said, love you guys. And I'm not strong enough. I'm just too weak. The Cheerios. I don't have any strength. I hope you feel bad for eating them. Wow. <laughs> Oop, let me move it. Okay. Let me move this bow. I want him over here. There. Now we have our Easter. And see, even though it's burgundy and it's got the cream, all of this will still look, together, look good. We got our carrot. I did have some eggs, but I think Greg took off with them. I think he threw them at me or something. I don't know. But anyhow. Only the hard boiled ones. I mean. See, he admitted it. Did you all see that? It's on, it's on the live. It's on the live. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep. You said adorable. Nancy said very pretty. Judy said, oh, Lord, where did you get that lamb? Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Been that long ago? Yeah. I've had him for quite a while. I just never done anything with him because he was just too cute. And I and you can put some little Easter eggs here. The egg that he threw at me. See, you can put little eggs here. And see how it's multifunctional? And these colors will go with it. And you got your bow. And I didn't glue anything down except for the mesh. Not done yet. I told you I'd give you your hour. Hold it on here. Susan looks adorable, Christy. Thank you. There's All right. More? There is more, y'all. Kathy asks, is this a wreath? Not a wreath. Lillian said, get the egg. Or Greg, get the eggs. <laughs> Well, if I could reach him. He's too busy throwing them at me. Now, I did not make a bow for 4th of July because I don't have any more ribbon. And I do have them come in my supplies, but they ain't here yet. So, But I did have this cheapy one. So we're just going to use it for now. But, ugh. anyhow, that cheapy one don't even want to stick in her. That's right, because I don't want you sticking in her anyhow. Darryl said adorable. But I did make this hat for the 4th of July. And you can decorate it for the 4th of July. See how that burgundy and the cream. Oh. Oh. Ain't gonna go to through there. But anyhow. And it's the, the cream and the burgundy is multifunctional. With a bow and the hat. For the 4th of July. Off of one can lace. And one set. And you still have your. Eucalyptus. I almost forgot what it was called. Oh my gosh. Okay. Judy said, but wait, there is more. <laughs> There's more. Just wait. You're not going to believe this. It's only $99.99. No, I'm joking. <laughs> they said, I'm getting nervous for my life. So much awesome talent. Hard to follow all these awesome projects. Joan, Alrighty. And Joan said, awesome. Lillian said, great ideas. Love it. We got summer, right? A watermelon. Who doesn't want some fresh watermelon? Now, I didn't have any of them little cute ants that they sell. I didn't have any of them. So, I went with a butterfly, y'all. Sorry. Carol with K said, LOL. <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy and nuts. Y'all know this. Kathy said, eucalyptus. 
yeah, eucalyptus in this. Just a touch of eucalyptus. Anyhow. Or I should say Mary. Kathy's creation by Mary. I apologize. Getting, getting. <laughs> Anyhow. We got the watermelon and we got the butterfly that you can put in there for the, like the summertime. And I got the springtime bow. Springtime, summertime, I mean. Well, you're ready for spring gear, aren't you? I am. I'm sick and tired of this snow stuff or whatever that crap is that was coming down today. Better not ever see that again. Well, they're calling for about one inch or just a little under well, one inch there. tonight. So. There's that. Is anybody else possibly getting snow tonight or over the weekend? You know, that's a four-letter word. We're not allowed to see in this house because it's bad. And Mary said, super cute ribbon. Thank you. Let's move the watermelon up here. Let's move these around. Anyhow, and if you've got them little ants or whatever, you can put some cute little ants up here. I don't have any. Straighten out your bow. Elaine said, love the bow. Thank you. And Kathy's Creation by Mary said, 75 here today. Johnny said, where do y'all live? We live in southern Indiana. We're about 25 minutes northwest of Louisville, Kentucky. Yep. And then you have your little summer, and you can add more watermelon or more butterflies and stuff like that. So there's your summer. See, and how it all ties in together with just the one base. Okay. Just wait. There's more. <sighs> okay, y'all. There's more. Everybody else is... Up in the 70s, Eunice said it's coming her way. So Eunice and us are the only ones that are getting it. So, I mean. You better shut your mouth. <laughs> All right. Now see how my scarecrow has the burgundy? And, oh, let me get it closer so you can see his shirt here. See, he's got burgundy and he's got that cream in his shirt because of the leaves and stuff. Oh, his little bow tie needs to be ironed out. Well, well, well. Okay. Where'd the other thing go? There it is. Hey, I found the other egg that he threw at me. Here it is, too. I knew there was another egg. You can put your little scarecrow up in here. Sue said there's more. Rolling the drums. <laughs> <laughs> there's more. <sighs> now, how darling is that? Scarecrow with his little pumpkin. This may not be the prettiest bow, but it works. Okay. Ah. Oh. Get in there. Peggy like said the gift that keeps on giving. That's <laughs> right. One project all year long. Uh, anyhow. There's this bow fall. It's covering up my pumpkin, so I'll probably end up moving it. But anyhow, or you can move it down, move it up, move it wherever. Anyhow. And it has the cream. It has the burgundies in the bow. Let's move that bow so we can see the pumpkin. We want to see that pumpkin more so than we that bow. There. Like that. And then you can add other things. You can add some leaves in here and different stuff. I just grabbed a few things. And then this pumpkin, it has burgundy berries in here and stuff like that. I'll bring it up a little closer so we see. See the little burgundy berries? So it all ties in together. If you miss calling anybody's name that's on here new, I apologize. The comments are just <laughs> flying right on through. <laughs> you can get after him. I don't care. All righty. There's more. Oh, okay. I honestly did not know about all this. So it's a surprise to me as it is to you. Then we have Christmas. And you can still use little Miss Ginger. Mary said, can't wait for Christmas. And then I'll sudden you pop out, Christmas. Christmas. 
and you can still use ginger again for Christmas. And y'all, I didn't get time to fluff this bow, so don't judge me too harsh, please. Neva said adorable, and Linda said, Christy, you are incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> don't judge me too harshly on this Christmas, though, because, you know, I just, I actually just finished it right before we went live. But anyhow, we've got Christmas now. Mary said, super cute. And you can use ginger. Like I said, I just finished this bow, and then we went live. I'm sorry, y'all. It's not really looked that good, but anyhow, you get the point. She said, you are awesome. And there is a Christmas tree in that tote right there. You want me to get it? Yeah, it's either. I'm not going to be able to do the comments. You can catch up in a minute. Uh -huh. Make it snappy. This one here? I think so. I don't know. Now, now, you're losing my balls. Uh-huh. I don't think there's a tree in this one, is it? A... No, 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 no. Look in that other tote. I'm still packing and everything. Which one? This one? That one. Look in there. No. Is it in that middle one? I don't know. I missed 50 comments already. Yeah, probably. They just keep coming. <laughs> I think they're just saying hi to you and they're laughing about them balls that you keep dropping. I don't think there's a Christmas tree in this. They're in there somewhere. I keep think you keep dropping them balls. Though. I don't even know what kind of Christmas tree. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Anyhow, y'all get the logist of it. I had a little, little Christmas tree about the same height as her. And you could set a tree next to her, and then she's all ready for you. Got your little piece for uh, Christmas, see? Are you gonna pick up all your balls? There's only one that fell. I've seen a lot of balls bouncing over there. Just these right here. You need to fix them. Were they balls or marbles? Just asking for a friend. Well, not marbles, because I still got all my marbles. Paints. Wow, look at all these comments I missed. Anyhow, y'all get the picture. And then when it comes to like New Year's, no, I didn't make a New Year's bow. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyhow, what's uh, how much time we got left? You got you're at 42.50. Woohoo! 4250. I got one more thing to show. Them. And Peggy said you need a bottle of champagne for New Year's, LOL. Yes, a bottle of champagne. I didn't have any more. But as well, if y'all didn't want to do anything like that, y'all could just make like a simple bow. And you could always go through there. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. And you can add like... Now, you sit up there, Gingy, okay? You sit up there, Gingy. You could add these roses in here. Pamela said, don't be mean to Charlie Brown. <laughs> he needs it. He needs it today. <laughs> Mary said, too funny, Susan, love your, love, love you, doll. And even a bunch of laughing emojis. <laughs> Linda, LOL, LOL. See, you could always just add just some simple flowers in here. Some roses. Oh, goodness. Don't ever get out and try to bend over. Good word. Carol with the K said, love the Lucy show. <laughs> I can't get that one in, but anyhow, and then you could add some more as you lift this in here if you wanted to. You could do that for like spring and summer. If you didn't want to use any of the other things, you could just do that. See, it's multi purpose with one, one candle base, and then you just make a little bow and put it right here in the front or off to the side. But Yes. All right. Does anybody got any questions? Good word. I can't get that out. 
You done wore me out tonight. Who? You. I didn't do it. You're the one working hard. I know that's right. <laughs> Carol with Kay said, excellent. Thank you. Get in there. Am I missing it? Yeah. And then Kathy's Creation by Mary said, how about LM, LM, MLK? I'm sorry. Martin Luther King Day, which is this coming Monday. Oh, yes. Martin Luther King Day. Yes. You could do something for Martin. I cannot talk to y'all. Yes. You could do something for Martin Luther King Day. Yes. Steve, Any holiday. Steve said, don't you have to put a candle in there? Well, you could. I do have a, I do have a, it's in the other room. One of them uh, battery operated candles. Peggy said she missed beginning. What was the base on the top of the candlestick? It's a, uh, it's a styrofoam. It's two inches thick. thick by six inches wide. And I put um, Spanish moss around the side and on the bottom of it. And then I attached it to the, to the candle holder. Peggy said she missed beginning also. Linda said that was some dream, Christy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I always wake him up during the middle of the night. I'm like, I had a dream. You want to hear about it? He's like, no, I want you to go to sleep and shut up. I'm like, that's not nice. He's never nice. I have dreams. Yeah, when well, I got to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's just work. I mean, come uh -huh. on. It's just work, Charlie Brown. You don't want me to be tired and run over anybody. No. There. But this was one of visions, like I said. And then I, oh, well, let's get a step further and let's do it interchangeable. Sherry said, Sherry said, it's a great idea from your dream. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions, though? Peggy commented, okay, thanks. Candle with poinsettias would be beautiful. Yes. Yes. Neva Very said, true. beautiful. And I just thought that rose was a nice little added touch. And all the ribbon came from um, Craft Outlet or from um, Ben Franklin's here in town. Well, it's 30 minutes away. The craft store here close by us, it's 30 minutes away. And I want to tell y'all next is CC with... CB Wreath Decor. Say it louder so they can CB hear CB Wreath decor yes pamela said pretty thank you and if i missed any comments i apologize but we do go back after the live and we do comment on the make a we do respond back to the messages comments. yes after the lives and we usually go live every Sunday evening at 7.30. This Sunday night, we will not be live because my mentor, Lori Jacobs, is doing the um, the marathon this weekend. And I want to be respectful to all of my um, fellow cubbies. And I want to um, be able to participate and share their lives and enjoy their lives. So we're not going to go live this Sunday. But we will be back on Monday at 8 p.m. So come back Monday at 8 p.m. And I'm sure I'm going to have another dream between now and then. I'm sure of that. So I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll be doing something. Yeah. Because I know I'm going to have another dream. And I will be getting Happy Mail. I've been watching the tracking, so I know Happy Mail's coming. So I'm sure Monday we will have Happy Mail to open up. Yay! And... What else? Oh, yeah. Another thing, what I always tell you guys, remember, you're beautiful. Never forget that. And as Hubby says, Mrs. is always right. No, he, I don't say that. He's the one that bought it and brought it home to me, I so it's whatever. I it to you, and you told me to get it. He calls me and he shows me the sign. I'm like, okay, so you're getting it right. He brought it home. He didn't have to bring it home, but he did. So, anyhow. Well, when you tell me to buy it, 
What am I supposed to do? I wasn't with him. No, but I showed you video talking. And we hope y'all enjoyed this live. And what else? Uh, I don't know. Oh, the bunnies. Where are they at? You want to show the bunnies? Yeah. Show them the bunnies. Monday, we will start back up with the bunnies. We were doing a giveaway. We didn't do it tonight just because we're in the marathon and we didn't want to take anything away from the marathon. But Monday, the, the giveaway will continue with the bunnies. So come back on Monday and we will do the bunny giveaway. Or we'll t show you how, or yeah, tell them. We will have the word for the night. Yeah. That they have to use 10 in a sentence 10 different times. Yeah. And Thank you. And please like and share or sprinkle. Yeah. Please like, follow, and sprinkle. And if you guys would go over to our YouTube and please subscribe to our YouTube. Not. If you haven't already, we would greatly appreciate that. And we hope that you all enjoyed and have fun. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know. I think that's it. I think it is. Peggy said she needs those bunnies. We're doing those as a giveaway, and we're going to give them away at the end of this month. Thank you, Denise. Um, so please come back on Monday. Um because we are doing a drawing. We're doing the at drawing. At the end of this month. Yep. And the rest of this year, every every month, we're going to do a different giveaway. Well, well I'll say we don't make it a month long. Well, we're not going to do it a month this. long, but we're going to start doing more giveaways this year. So make sure you're following us, liking us, and subscribe to our YouTube. Um, yes? Anything else? And just be sure because CC with CB Reap Decor is coming on. Yes. At nine o'clock. So be sure to go watch her. Yeah. CC with C. CB Reap Decor. CB Reap Decor is coming on next. So make sure you go over there and check her out. She is awesome. So we want to say thank you all and we hope you enjoyed. And hopefully we'll see you all Monday. Thanks. God bless. And good night. Bye. Bye.